Hey guys, Picasso over here and today we'll see how to interact with OpenMedia Vault using Node-RED. Those of you who are not aware, OpenMedia Vault is a NAS software application and I'm using this for quite some time now. I wanted to control and monitor my NAS from my home production system that comprises of OpenApp and Node-RED. I was looking for an interface that I can use to interact from either Node-RED or Open app, and I found that Open Web Vault supports RCP. So RPC allows programs on different systems to communicate and invoke procedures remotely. A client calls a function on a server which executes it and returns the result. RPC uses various protocols and transports like TCP IP or HTTP. The client invokes a remote procedure by calling a method on the stub, packaging the request and sending it to the server. The server receives the request, executes the procedure, and sends the result back to the client. RPC simplifies remote communication by abstracting network complexities and enabling seamless procedure invocations across systems. So being said that, let's get started guys. Okay, to start with this, the open media vault exposes their RPC endpoints over here the you know uh, url then slash rpc.php you can use this with node red to invoke different R rpc methods okay so if you want to know more about like you know what are different methods available you can get into this uh, repository of open media vault and you'll get list of you know different methods or procedures that can be invoked over rpc so if you get into different modules you'll get their different procedures okay so now let's head over to node-red and see how we can connect and invoke rpc methods of open media world so over here what i have done is i have created three blocks one is like you know it invokes every 10 minutes which basically gets the system performance matrices and stored into influx db another is like you know i have exposed a couple of apis so that i can use them and control my omb from my home automation system like open app or you know i can also use it with directly from node red so one is you know it exposes the shutdown api and another one is the reboot api so basically i can get into this you know i can invoke this url get omb slash shutdown and this will basically create a shutdown request to omb so i don't need to go in physically or i don't need to go into the open media vault ui and shut it down manually i can do that from my home automation system okay so over here what i am doing is basically every 10 minutes i just you know set the credentials and all that because i'm using you know the admin credits and all that so i have you know have that those configured in node red so if you go to this flow you'll see all the configurations here the username password url and the if it is in sl or not so it creates uh you know basically injects all those credentials and everything into the flow then what it does it makes a call so that to have a session key so make sure you have this method you know somehow you retrieve the session key and use those in your subsequent calls okay because you cannot use basic authentication to invoke the rpc you know interface or endpoints then what it does is it, it creates two different calls one is for you know getting uh just open, let me open this so over here we are getting into file system management and we are just checking the file storage information that means like you know how much disk space is available and all that that gets uh, you know that uh call then uh so using this uh, you know parameters it makes it to be call to the rpc.php uh, this endpoint and then finally we pass the output and store that into influx db similarly another call is made to get system parameters so if you see i am using the service system and the method is get information so if you see this like you know if you go to system and down. Okay. yeah get information so so you can pretty much see what are the different uh, you know uh, 
parameters basically exposed using this method and all that and what are the different methods available in the system service so like that you can also explore other you know uh, services as well but for time being i have used the file management and the system services for certain also i have used system uh, services so if you see this Yeah, system and the method is report. You you can pass in parameters if required. Otherwise, you can also leave params as empty. So let's go to uh, InfluxDB and see how data is getting stored. So if I go to this dashboard, then I have a separate. Uh, this bucket for OMB and if I query you can see uh, because just now I started my vault you can also see a couple of data points okay now let's see if available. yep so these are all the describe informations similarly you can uh, also see like you know in percentage if you want and all that information here some values are not yet so you can uh, use all these data points to create charts and all that for your home automation system or whatever you need actually and after that uh, we have this couple of apis which are basically some get calls that you can make to node red and it will invoke the flow which will either shut down or reboot the open media fault so that's all with this guys i hope you have enjoyed this if so hit the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our channel for videos like this. See you next time in our next video. Till then, goodbye.